Hello. Thanks for joining us. We're here still at the Colorado Railroad Museum, and inside that museum is this beautiful garden railway uh, that's operated by the Denver Garden Railway Society. And I'm here with Alan Olson. I'm the chairman of the project. And you're also a member of the Denver Garden Railway Society, and you're also a right. board member of this museum. Right, yes. Well, please tell us more about this layout. Well, uh, we, we made two tries to get some property out here. And this was at the very beginning of uh, Garden Railroad interest in the United States. It was really new. And uh, when we came to them and said, we'd like to put in a garden railroad, there was some misunderstanding. And they said, basically, we don't want to ride on railroad out here. We came back later with samples. And then we had Garden Railways magazine, so we took them off to those and explained what it would be. And their board at the time uh, decided that they could find something for us. And uh, they had two choices. One was the one directly behind me. And it was this tall of weeds. And uh, we thought, well, we'll see. And then way over in the northeast corner, there was one that had a white house by it. But there was no water or power over there. So we decided to take a look at this one. And two of us started walking toward the center there, not realizing that it pitched down. Did you almost get swallowed? Well, what <laughs> happened is we got our boots wet and came out of it. And so the museum representatives said, well, you probably don't want this one. And we said, oh, this would be perfect. Because we didn't have to build a water feature. Yeah. And so that's Built been around it. Yes. Nice. Been, so uh, we've to flatten this out, we've added a lot of material. And the idea, one of the ideas behind this was we had quite a few members that didn't have a home garden railway. It was expensive and things like that. So we decided to develop this uh, so that there'd be many loops, individual loops that mm. people could run on. So we have seven loops of track power, three loops of live steam power. So uh, that's how we got to this point. We have a wonderful woman by the name of uh, Rayanne Banks who heads up our plants and wow. our landscaping. She does a great job. They're beautiful. And uh, These are real trees. They are. Yeah. And they need to be, they're dwarf Albertas, uh -huh. and if they stay natural, they're kind of a bushy thing. And if you notice over this one, you can see through it more like yeah. a tree. So people have to trim that. I see. You have volunteers to yeah, come in and our volunteers maintain that. Do that. Yes. Uh, more than half the buildings that you see around, the structures, were made by our members. Mm -hmm. And so we have to take care of those, just like you would any other kind of uh, building structure. Do you have events? We do have events. Uh, we have, we've had several live steam ups here and brought in, this was sort of a, a national affair, mm -hmm. and we brought in a lot of people. But the museum has many, many events, and they want us running because this is a very popular part of the museum. So when the uh, master schedule comes out, it seems like there's more and more days that we need to be running maybe into the evening, which is fine. And of course, our membership is aging, so we have to take that into consideration. But we have young people like uh, Sam and Luke mm -hmm. and Grant that you've met before. And uh, if we can get maybe 20, 30 more of those, why, we'll be in good shape. Yeah. Well, this is a wonderful just a wonderful feature to have for your, this, this area, for this museum, and for your organization. And uh, I, I'm, I think it's great. I think it's beautiful. It's been, you said, 28 years mm -hmm. since you guys started? You guys are keeping me... We got the... Uh, the museum train rolling by now. 
That's our newest locomotive. Yeah. So, um, do, what do you have in plan for future development here? Um, what we'd like to do is just upgrade track edge and things like that. And uh, we run so often that we go through lots of wheel sets and things yes. like that. So we're constantly doing maintenance, uh, just like we do on the outside for the, the buildings and things like that. Um, so we have several people that do all of that. And so if somebody wants to uh, bring their locomotive, they don't have a garden at home, they need to just join they have to the join. society. Yes. And then they have to just tell you, and I want to be part of this group as well? That's right. But we have some caveats in there. and. Uh, we want some time from you uh, on upkeep and maintenance and yeah. things like that. And then there's a introduction that we have to go through, learn our ways, some safety, things like that. Mm -hmm. And um, people that are, like I said before, people that are inside here are also uh, uh, museum uh, volunteers right. too. So we serve a double duty. And we have several of our members that are on the board of directors. Uh, we've had several people be on the, the operating crew, track crew, things like that, the big stuff. Yeah. Wow. So it's a good, it's a good marriage. Is there anything uh, about this layout that people don't, usually don't know about, any fun facts about it? Well, they, they don't understand what we do in the winter. Oh. The winter. It snows. A lot of snow here. Snows. So we run in the snow. Mm -hmm. Snow has to be kind of fluffy. Uh, we do have one person with a rotary snow plow. If it's fluffy enough, that's great. Uh, we do have a couple of uh, wedge plows. Mm -hmm. And uh, occasionally we're crazy enough to come out here and clear all the tracks by using our locomotives. So that's the fun of, of the snow that, days. That is a unique uh, thing. And that really uh, surprises people that you can do this. Well, Alan, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you. And we hope you have a lot more uh, people come and, and take a look at this layout. Okay.